GBG family, what is good? We're back at you with another free workout focusing on in-season strength training. Okay, very important that we stay strong throughout our season and today's free workout is for the upper body. Now, thing you wanna understand here is that the upper body exercises are going to emphasize some type of core or full body combination. So the obstacles that we face for in-season strength training is that we lack resource, whether that's motivation, equipment, and time. So these are four exercises that's gonna help alleviate those obstacles. For the first exercise, all you need is a couple dumbbells, a little bit of space, you're in a push-up position. Your feet are wide, okay? That's important to give you a little stability. Focus on trying to avoid any hip rotation, and all we're doing is executing a one-arm row. So you're gonna pull to the hip, stabilize, set down. Pull to the hip, stabilize, set down. Now, the weight that you wanna choose is gonna be dependent on how well you can keep that nice, strong, stable core and prevent any movement within the pelvis when you pull. For instance, when you pull, you don't wanna turn your body, you don't wanna rock to one side, you kinda just wanna stay stable and resist any motion in the pelvis. Exercise number two, once again, full body, but with an emphasis in upper body. Dumbbell, bench. Okay, we're gonna do a one-arm bench. Now, the key here is, is shading over your body, shading your body over to the side of the arm that's working. So if my left arm is working, I'm gonna lay back, get the dumbbell high, and then kind of scoot over to my left and think about driving my left foot through the floor. That's gonna give me that stability and prevent me from falling over. Okay, and again, same idea, resisting any rotation through the core as we execute a fundamental one-arm bench press. Everybody knows how to bench press, but why not incorporate some core stability at the same time? And some glute activation or strength. Yeah, all that, get after it. Okay, okay, the next exercise is looking at incorporating hip extension while incorporating overhead shoulder press. Okay, We're actually getting a little bit of power development, simultaneously training the upper body in the vertical press action. Let's start with getting a nice pad for our knees. Some pretty heavy dumbbells, because again, we're utilizing hip power, and then you can use a superband to load hip extension, but it's not required. I'm just letting you know that if you don't have a superband, you can still do this exercise. So, let's start by getting into the front rack. And again, as I extend through the hip, I'm executing that shoulder press. Looks like this. Hoop. And maybe you can add a little bit of eccentric lowering to this pattern, because we're getting contribution up from the hips, and then it's all lowering through the shoulders on the way down. All shoulders on the way down. This next exercise is a huge bang for buck and one of my favorites. It's a single leg hinge seesaw row. And the reason why I like it is because we get upper body pull strength, but at the same time, single leg stability. Check it out. So I got my dumbbells, I got my bench or box or anything to elevate my back foot. Okay, I'm gonna step forward, stabilizing that front leg, and then slowly kick back, find that bench or whatever elevation you have, and then we're doing a reciprocated row or seesaw row. Now what you wanna be very conscious of is just taking your time and making sure you're getting full retraction of that shoulder blade and also, the dumbbells are moving simultaneously. So a lot of stability is happening on this front foot, as well as a focus of pull strength. Whew. You can find all these exercises in our next program drop where we're focusing specifically on staying strong throughout the season. GBG.